Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. Okay, so today we're going to talk about some new feature in Fimura 13.1.5. Alright, so I was in the hospital for about 10 days and after coming back to my studio, I opened Fimura and I see some upgrade in the program. Okay, so I think it is interesting for you. By the way, it's just about 3 minute or 4 minute videos, okay? Okay, so this is my Fimura 13. And you see here, if I go to have and about, so this is Fimura 13.1.5 and the first new feature we I think is very interesting is the new drawing tools. Now you can draw circle, square and arrow on the screen. Okay, so it is very nice. For example here, if I put the player here, so we have a black empty space here at the preview window. Now if I want to draw an arrow or a circle or a square or stuff like that, we have an option right here on the timeline, on top of the timeline. So this is the drawing tools. Okay, just click here and we can select rectangle. Okay, just select here and then we can draw on the screen. Something like this. Very nice, right? And we can resize the, the square or the rectangle. Okay, resize it and adjust the corner. Something like this and rotate it. Okay, and we can even format the shape here. Just double click here and we have basic and animation. At the basic, we can scale it up and down and corner radius or stuff like that. And we can also change the fill and adjust the border here. For example, if I don't want to have the fill, I can disable the fill and I can change the color of the border. Okay, something like this. And I can adjust the thickness of the border. Okay. So that's nice, right? I can even add the drop shadow, stuff like that. So you can do the same with circle and arrow. For example, I can add another arrow, okay? And we can draw an arrow here. And we can double click at the arrow. And also I want to change the fill. Okay, so here's a fill. I can change the color of the fill to more and change it to red and click OK. And I can resize it, make it a little bit bigger. So it's interesting, right? And now you can draw on the screen. And being mentioned that we can use this shape with the motion tracking feature also. For example, I have a clip here. Okay, so this is the video clip. And I want to, I have a tracking point here. I track the girl here and we can add a shape like this. Okay, and we can delete the arrow here. And now I can link the, the square to the track object. Okay, so all I need to do is to double click at the clip here and then select the link element here and select none here. I don't know why this cannot display the name of the subject here. It should be the square here. By the way, we just want to select the square and then we can adjust the square like this. So when we play the video, it will follow the girl here. Okay, something like this. Okay, so that is the first new feature in Filmora 13.1.5 and another new feature in Filmora is the quick preview mode. I think it is a new one. It is a new feature, but I'm not 100% sure because I just came back to my studio after 10 days at the hospital. Okay, so it is old. Then let me know in the comment section. By the way, the quick preview mode is here. So when you press B on your keyboard, you are able to preview your timeline faster. Okay, for example, we have a timeline like this and normally when we want to preview the timeline, we have to put the playhead here and then and then we can just click here to preview or we have to just move the playhead like this to preview our timeline. By the way, now if we press B or we can click this button. Okay, so I can press B and now I have a quick review mode, something like this. So, so there will be a line here allowing me to quickly preview my timeline. Okay, so very interesting. See, you see here. Okay, and when you want to go back to normal, you can press B on your keyboard or you can press this button. So this is the second new feature in Filmora 13.1.5. And another one is about the screen recorder. So you know that in Filmora 13, we have an option to record your computer screen, your webcam separately. By the way, some people are not happy with that option. And now in Filmora 13.1.5, they bring back the merging option so meaning that you can record your computer screen together with your webcam and it will be in one video okay one video and one audio track so it is better for you to just record the screen and then you can 
just edit your video easily like the way you do in Filmora 12 and Filmora 11 okay for example here we have an option let's click okay and you go back to your media okay and you want to click here at the record button for example you want to turn on the record PC screen option here okay and you want to click here at the setting menu you want to click more and you see here there is a new option recording mode so if you want to record your camera or your webcam together with your screen in just one video track you want to enable this option or if you want to record them separately you want to click here to enable camera screen splitting okay something like this all right so these are some new features in Filmora 13.1.5 i hope they are interesting to you if you want to upgrade to this latest version you can just download the software from their website and install it on your computer or you can check for update inside the program if you have any question about Filmora just let me know at the comment section below and i hope you like the video just hit the like button and if you're new here consider to subscribe to my youtube channel for more video like this thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next video goodbye